to a major spotlight video presented by the UCSB Office of Admissions. My name is Kiana and I'm a third year student studying here at UC Santa Barbara. Today I'm going to be talking about the PBS major. Not the public broadcasting service, not peanut butter science, but psychological and brain sciences. I chose to major in PBS at UCSB because I've always had an interest in understanding the human mind and behavior. UCSB psychology department is unique in that it's rooted in research and empiricism. It's important to note that we do not offer a BA in psychology, but we'll talk more about that later. So, like I mentioned, UCSB does not offer a BA in psychology. We only offer a BS in biopsychology or a BS in psychological and brain sciences, which is my major. Just so you're aware, the difference between a BA and a BS is that a bachelor's of science degree is going to have more major specific courses, while a bachelor's of arts degree is going to have more general education courses. With this in mind, some of the pre-major courses for a PBS major at UCSB include two quarters of chemistry, two quarters of biology, and two quarters of math slash statistics. I just wanted to point that out so it's something that you're aware of. It was something that kind of caught me off guard when I chose to study psychology at UCSB. I know that that can sound kind of intimidating, especially if the subject areas aren't your strong point and they weren't mine either at first. But while I was taking those courses, specifically chemistry, I utilized some of UCSB's resources. For example, CLIS, which stands for Campus Learning Assistance Services, to help me understand any course material that I wasn't getting in class. By putting in a little bit of extra work and having a solid foundation in statistics, biology, and chemistry, it ended up making a lot of my upper division courses a lot easier. The further I get into my major, the more I realize that I have so much more that I still want to learn. I am potentially looking towards attending graduate school. Ideally, I will find a program that overlaps my PBS major with my other major, which is philosophy. Involvement in research as a PBS major begins as early as your first year. Psych 1, which is the first psychology course that I took here at UCSB, had a requirement to volunteer at least five hours throughout the quarter to be a participant in research being conducted by faculty and students. I got to participate in some really cool psych studies that cover so many different areas of psychology, spatial awareness, implicit biases, and memory and cognitive tasks. Volunteering as a participant allows students to really get involved in research early on and decide if being involved in research is something that they're more interested in. Like most undergraduate students at UCSB, PBS students that are interested in getting into research specifically in their department can utilize FRAP, which is the Faculty Research Assistancing Program. There you can find more research opportunities and see what sort of research is being conducted on campus right now. The professors in the PBS department are extremely well versed in their areas of expertise. It's actually insane that I have even met, let alone have relationships with professors that have been true pioneers in the field of research psychology. Every single one of my professors so far has been incredibly kind and approachable and for that I am so grateful. I even had one professor who brought cookies to students who came to office hours. So. I'm a double major in philosophy and my two majors complement each other really well. In particular, Phil 100F, which is philosophy of science, and Psych 10A, which is research methods, have helped me to see how the two subjects are really intertwined. Despite all the progress we've made in understanding the human mind and behavior, it is still so complex and so unpredictable. Some of my favorite courses that I've taken so far in the psychology department have been Psych 117, which is memory, Psych 160 JS, which is the science of consciousness, and Psych 10A, which is research methods. As a junior, my class sizes are usually around 100 students big. It really depends on the course. There are two major psychology organizations on campus. The first one is SUP, which stands for Society of the Undergraduate Psychologists, and the second one is Psychi, which is the International Honor Society for Psychology. Something that people sometimes get confused about in the PBS department is whether or not our major is for people that are interested in becoming a therapist or a counselor. The PBS major does not prepare students to be a clinical psychologist or therapist. If you're interested in that, I do recommend looking into the applied psych minor, which is not associated with the PBS department. I 
I love studying psychology at UCSB because a lot of my courses are centralized around understanding research. It has taught me to think really critically about how we have come to know what we do know so far in psychology and where we should go from here. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and that you had the chance to learn more about the PBS major. If you have more questions, we're going to link the department website down below so you can go ahead and check out their page. Subscribe for more major videos and we'll see you later. Bye.